to kill off the excessive invasive weeds and algae that result from eutrophication. Toxic chemical treatments are used. They just make the situation worse. Chemical herbicides kill off the invasive weeds, and chemical algicides kill off the algae cells. The biomass dies off, sinks to the bottom, and decomposes, depleting more oxygen from the water and producing more organic sediment. Killing things with poisonous chemicals is no way to help nature, and more sediment nutrient stockpiles means more nutrient recycling. Chemical precipitants are used to precipitate phosphorus down into the sediment. But an overabundance of nutrient-rich sediment is the problem. Depositing more phosphorus into the sediment makes the problem worse, not better. More and more sediment nutrient stockpiles make nutrient recycling internally self-sustaining. No amount of reduction of nutrient inflows is going to remediate the situation once nutrient recycling and eutrophication has become self-sustaining. We have become addicted to spending more and more on chemicals that give a short-term cosmetic relief, but make the problem worse and more expensive to fix in the long run. What's worse is that as a water body becomes more eutrophic, it becomes more ideally suited to cyanobacteria which produce toxic harmful algae blooms, or HABs.